As you may have heard, and should definitely tell someone else, the snake crusher who died on the cross didn't stay dead. He couldn't. Death had no claim on him. The devil had no case against him. And sin had no wages he couldn't pay. Jesus just couldn't stay dead. And God just wouldn't let him rot in the tomb. So on the third day, God raised him from the dead. A whole bunch of people saw him and ate with him and told their friends that he was really alive. Forty days later, God lifted him into the sky and gave him the seat of honor at his right hand. And you know what the snake crusher did next? Because his work was done, he sat down, and God gave him the name above all names, so that at the name of Jesus, everybody and everything would start to sing and shout and worship. Then, just to make things even better, and to make good on even more promises, God the Father and God the Son sent the best person of all time down to earth, God the Holy Spirit. And because of the Spirit, we can have the power and peace and presence of Christ with us all the time. As you can tell, this story is the biggest story ever. It's familiar to some of us. It's a true story for all of us. But we haven't seen the end of the story. Not yet. We live in the beginning of the end of the story that we are still in the middle of. We know it's not the end because we haven't made it back to the garden. We get glimpses of the garden here and there, in our hearts, in our families, in the church. But anyone who loves this story longs to see the one who is the center of the story. The snake crusher is coming back again to wipe away all the bad guys and wipe away every tear. He's coming to make a new beginning and to finish what he started. He's coming to give us the home we once had and might have forgotten that we lost. So keep waiting for him. Keep believing in him. Keep trusting that the story isn't over yet. God's promises never fail, and the promised one never disappoints. One day we will see him. One day we will be with him. One day... There will be nothing but the best days, day after day after day after day. And forever and ever, it will be a wonderful time to be God's children in God's wonderful world.